My passion for farming came from my dad and my grandfather. They both were family farmers and I grew up next to them and never knew any different. Being part of our family operation has led us here today to this interview inside our sheep barn and gave us this opportunity. My life motto is just go for it. Give it some effort. That's what I've kind of tried to live by and it's what I think about when I'm adding on or trying to grow my operation and it's worked so far. So each morning, um, wake up and get our kids up and get them ready for the bus. And then uh, once our kids get on the bus, I come outside and start chores. Usually chores begin with walking through, looking for newborn lambs. And then once we get all the newborn lambs taken care of, we um, start mixing feed for all the other sheep for the day. Usually around 7.30 or so, our hired help starts to show up. I'll go over to our shop and kind of make sure that things are pointing in the right direction there. Throughout the day, we have customers stop for feed and we load feed for them and help them out. And then if we're planting or harvesting, you know, also that gets thrown in the mix of keeping all that operation going. So it really depends on the day and the time of year of, you know, what I do every day. One of the biggest challenges for our operation or for me and my operation is being a good manager, managing other people. Everything that is on this operation, either myself or my dad is built and it's sometimes hard to let, you know, other people just take it over and, and trust them to make sure it gets done right. So one of the biggest accomplishments that I feel like we've had on this farm is growing and growing our sheep operation and turning it into a large scale flock of a little over a thousand ewes. Getting, getting to that point took a lot of hard work. It took building relationships with other people, whether it was banks or consultants or nutritionists, other people, other producers in the sheep industry. It took a lot of time, you know, from spending time with family or whatever, you know, you had to be out in the buildings taking care of livestock and uh, just getting to that point. I'd hope my legacy or the legacy of our operation would just be that our kids someday want to have it. They can either continue to grow what we've grown here or if they want to, you know, branch off and add something else to the operation, I'd be more than happy for that too. But I just want it to be here as an option for them to to continue to make it bigger and better than what it is. Some of the innovative technology we use for our sheep operation includes iPads um, that are Bluetooth to our scale for our mixer wagon to record daily feedings, all the amounts of feed for each ingredient we feed the sheep. The sheep are also ear tagged with electronic tags that if we scan them with our um, handheld computer, it gives us the life details of each individual sheep. We also have a, a drafting crate that we can weigh the sheep and record their weights automatically and it will sort the sheep based on male, female, their weight, um, if they're born as a twin, triplet or a single. Basically we can program that uh, shoot to sort our sheep multiple different ways for us just to reduce labor. Future goals for our operation would just be to continue to do what we're doing and hopefully improve and be better. Also to grow our operation and to let our kids be more and more involved and start their own path in our operation. Uh, Carrie and I have four kids, two boys and two girls, Braxton, Ryan, Weston, and Reagan. They enjoy being able to go to the shop and run around and they enjoy being able to be on the equipment. They like being out in the sheep barns and being able to go in the pens with the, the sheep and run around and do whatever they feel like doing. To stay informed of the changes um, in everyday agriculture, we've built a, a team, I would call it, around us of consultants, advisors, bankers, other producers. Relationships with multiple different people help us accomplish that. If I had unlimited resources to improve one aspect of agriculture, 
I would want to improve communications between producers and consumers. It's really a challenge because a lot of consumers don't realize the amount of work that producers are putting into it, amount of effort, how much care there is to make safe food for consumers to eat. But one of the main reasons that our operation is successful is because we've built a team around our operation and it involves myself, my dad, my wife, all the employees. We've made relationships with many people and they all care about our success. So our family um, considers multiple different towns part of our community, Curlew, Mallard, and Emmitsburg. We do our best to support them and they also support us. Family farms are also important to communities because farmers spend their money in the small town communities. They're not buying all their needs off the internet and they are involved in local projects they're also on committees and boards to help grow and improve their community. So I think it's important to help other producers by sharing knowledge with them and encouraging them to just go for it and be willing to try new things. For example, we're part of a producer group for our sheep operation, and there's multiple young producers in that group. and I do my best to reach out to those producers and give them ideas of ways they can be more profitable or ways they can benefit and grow their operation. Even if it's just being available to answer phone calls or text for other producers to make them feel at ease about issues on their own operation. Piece of advice I'd want to give to the next generation would be to be willing to try new things and stay diversified. Having the opportunity to use the Manitou telehandler would be beneficial to our operation in multiple ways. We could use it to feed each day. We could use it to move our round bales and bedding around. For our custom baling operation, we can use it to move round bales off of fields and for multiple other aspects of our operation. It would be an honor to receive the title of 2023 Operation of the Year to solidify all the hard work everyone involved in this operation has went through to make it a success. I am Kyle Hurley from Curlew, Iowa, and I am a finalist for the Operation of the Year of 2023 in the Midwest region.